Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Joey Barnes has the night off. Well, you may have noticed some of your coworkers missing from work. We're approaching the peak of flu season. Data from the Centers for Disease Control shows that February is the peak month of flu activity. WCBI's Quentin Smith talked to a doctor today about this year's flu activity, and he's joining us now in the studio with more. Quentin. Good evening, Andrea. Dr. Stephen Brandon in Starkville says so far none of his patients have tested positive for the flu. But he says just because we're off to a slow start doesn't mean you shouldn't protect yourself. Patients have come into the family clinic in Starkville with runny noses, coughing, and even a fever. But all of the flu tests Dr. Stephen Brandon has administered so far have come back negative. To this point, I have not seen any cases of flu in my office. I understand from reports from the health department that there are a few scattered cases uh, around the state, but there's been no particular isolated area with any great number of flu cases. Brandon says he believes the slow start is primarily due to the strength of the flu vaccine. The way the flu shot works is that the flu shots are manufactured a whole year ahead of time. And they base these strains that go into the flu vaccine on global trends of flu viruses around the world. So it's a prediction when they prepare a flu vaccine. The numbers are low right now, but Brandon says that it could easily change. In some cases, we find that flu season may vary in terms of when it peaks. Brandon's best advice, get the flu shot. It's not too late. The flu shot uh, is effective uh, about two weeks after you take it. It will gradually continue to increase your immunity to the flu. And if you do test positive for the flu, Brandon says, take care of yourself and take necessary precautions to protect those around you. If you have the flu, you should try to restrict your exposure to other people, particularly during your portion of the illness where you have high fevers. Uh, cover your mouth when coughing. Wash hands frequently. Brandon says those who have the highest risk of getting the flu include children who are six months to a year old, people over 50, people with chronic illness or cancer, and those in the nursing home settings. But in all, Brandon says getting the flu shot is the best way to ensure you won't receive the flu.